Hey guys, welcome to the Stock Sign for Trading. It's your boy Ronnie, and uh, we're gonna do the New York and the NYSE session. Welcome everybody. Oh, 54 viewers. Wow, what a way to start, guys. Thank you guys. I appreciate all of you guys. Um, guys, uh, we just we did lo London last night. We went from like 3 a.m. to approximately 5 a.m. and then I got a couple hours sleep and we're right back at it. But what a call uh, London was, guys. We it was awesome. We collected uh, f some pips last night, but this was uh, US 30, guys. We charted this last night in London. We took. Uh, uh, right here we identified this supply zone at 34,800 and as the we had the the sell here we maintained right here but then right when i ended the call guys i think i ended it 455 right here and as soon as it came when we identified i had this area 34,782 this is right after the call ended we got this big dump it came all the way down hopefully you guys caught that dump and it just continued to go down but that was a real clean one right there and also our nasdaq we had nasdaq right there as well similar chart we identified it 15,500 area that supply and right after our call five that's when nasdaq broke as well and just when broke down um guys it was it was wild last night it was such a good london call um so let's get started guys um we're gonna start with a clean chart we're gonna get started um and uh guys welcome everybody um and i'll get to the comments in one second guys thank you i appreciate all of you guys uh it's 8 a.m eastern let's have some fun today guys let's close friday let's close this week with some good good education some good pips welcome everybody um Patria, welcome everyone, welcome. Guys, if I missed you in the chat, I apologize. I'm just, uh, uh, shout outs to everybody in here. I was, uh, thank you for joining, guys. Um, if I can just get you guys to like the channel, subscribe if you're new here, and uh, let's have some fun, guys. Uh, <laughs> welcome, everybody, welcome, welcome. So, uh, respect to everybody, guys, who's here. Um, let's get started, guys. <clears throat> How, I see <laughs> Mohammed. How old am I? I'm uh, I'm I'm old. I'm old. I'm old. I'm 39 years old. <laughs> um, but uh, let's get let's get started, guys. Okay, with that, I'm 39, guys. Okay, so what we're gonna do with the US 30, we're gonna get started. But we know what it's been doing. It's it's been selling off. It's been bearish. Okay, but let's run let's run a little top down for guys if we're new here. I go to the daily chart. Okay, and I just take a look at the daily candlesticks. Okay, so we can see on the daily we've been consolidating red, green, red, green, red. But we're, we're, we could be making a move. If we come down again and we test the lows down here, we could potentially start to develop bearish and maybe we'll lead into next week. We'll see what happens. Right now we got a small, small range candle, but it is leading towards bearish. Uh, the volume is near the bottom. So this is <clears throat> today's high. I go yellow, guys, for my... Um, upper so upper resistance and uh, on the daily and support so for daily analysis i do yellow lines that's the high we got up to approximately 34,840 area how low is today's low well let's take a look there there's today's wick right there okay so you can see i have today's high and the lows 34,646 area okay and this is the volume now we could be pushing down to start to fill this wick maybe we break our own low and then we can continue going down if we break our low then where could we go down to we could potentially when we're scalping we could get down to approximately maybe 34,610 600 area okay and then if we break below there then we could potentially hit these wicks down here and um, we'll move from there but if this rotates right back up if we start to come back up then we'll possibly come up to this area and then maybe we can break up to 34,900 area okay to the upside if if this rotates and it goes bullish okay guys so let's go to the hourly candles now and we'll take a look if we see any structure on the one hour okay so like right here i can see that there, there was a lot of hourly support okay so we'll identify that there was hourly support these are hourly candles now okay so i go white line now for my hourly um levels and then when we get down to scalping the five minutes we'll get in there and uh we'll, we'll make some sense of this but i just want to see some zones here guys that's basically what i'm looking for 
I'm looking for in here, okay? So see how this was like a previous neckline? That was support, and now price action is below it, so now it's gonna use that as resistance, okay? And then if we do come down and break below these uh, daily areas, then maybe we have the potential to go back up to there. But right now, we're, we gotta concentrate in this zone. We don't need to get too ahead of ourselves because um, that's all we need, guys. You don't got to get carried away with your top down. And then we all understand that it's been bearish, okay? So these are the five-minute candles. Up here is where they spiked it, okay? It got, that's the high, came down, lower low. And then it came, spiked up, lower high, continued to go down, another lower high. They hammer it down, and again, we're at lower highs, okay? So this was from London, guys. We That was that spike in London right there, guys. So just London open, a lot of head fakes, a lot of manipulation right here, 3 a.m. exactly. They pumped it up and then one bearish engulfing candle took all of that out and then we started to lead down. Here was that 34,800 supply area we identified and then once it continued to break down, it broke structure right there and that's when it just dumped, okay? And it was a wicked, wicked, um, nice play for a good good amount of pips similar nasdaq nasdaq was very very similar okay so right now we've got five minute resistance we're trying to break right now okay so we've got five minute resistance i've got right here is my five minute support level right here okay so here we go guys we could get into a quick quick trade right now <clears throat> as this is developing okay so what i like to see is for a buy up here um, green is like for the buy area guys even if I go green on the bottom that's to identify sell what I like to do is I like to look left where could price action go we could potentially go up to here 34,750 okay if we break up there but I don't want just like an impulse candle I want to get volume to get above 34,715 and then we get a retest and confirmation okay so what I, I'll identify this area right here and right after this guys we'll do gold we'll do gold chart okay so this area, 34,715, right up there, okay? I want to see a nice play get up there, and uh, we can potentially push a little bit up here. I got good spread right now. 1.5 pips is my spread on US 30, so that's decent, nice spread. Okay, guys, if I miss you guys in the chat, I apologize. I'm just getting started. Um, and then, so in here, this is also like the consolidation area, okay? I like to trap this area in there, and I don't trade inside this box, okay? I like to look for something that will break up or something that will break down, okay? So I have my uh, trade idea if it goes bullish, and then also if it comes down bearish, I'll uh, identify this area down here. Okay, we're starting to move a little bullish. So guys, thanks for everybody that joined me during London. And uh, you guys are here for New York. You guys are awesome. You guys are grinders. I like it. Um, and then where could we potentially see some profits if we come down? You could do like a TP1 down there. And then potentially TP2 will be the yellow line. That's our daily uh, uh, support and then up here if we move this could be like TP1 up here that's our hourly resistance and then we can move to our next five minute zone so this is kind of like a little setup I like for US 30 to get the day started <clears throat> yeah ne next week we'll do some more London session guys it was a lot of fun last night um, London was moving really really nice um, so everybody uh, Shane welcome Mohammed welcome Daniel welcome uh, Vegasan, welcome everybody, Andre, uh, Camp Savage, Madcap, Andre, everybody, Sid, uh, Dragon, everybody, Mason, welcome everybody guys, um, Rita, um, everybody guys, welcome. Um, if I missed that, all of you guys, I apologize guys, um, but shout outs to everybody for joining. Uh, thank you, I respect all of you guys. Um, but let's get started guys. Okay, so we got 20 seconds left on the candle. We're starting to get that push. We're starting to get some momentum, but let's see where they're going to close the volume. Okay, so so far it's looking good. We're in a little bit of a uptrend. You can see it's making higher highs and higher lows, these candles here. Okay, so let's see if we can continue with this momentum going up. Okay, 
RSI is above 50, so we are in a little bit of bullish territory up here. Okay, so there's the close, and there's a, could be our continuation. Give it a few seconds. There we go. And then now it's running up. Okay, so now we could attempt this white line, 34,728, 730 area. If we can attempt up there, um, we could push. And then let's try and push and get it up to 34,740 area right up here. There we go. Okay, just get this momentum going on this. Okay, all we got to do is just pick up some strength up here. Okay, and then as long as we stay above this area, okay, and we this was a previous resistance, it should act as a support level. It might take a few touches, it might take a few candles up here, but as long as we can stay consistent and we can keep the volume up here, then we can build a base, we can build again, build a support level, and then we can continue get some nice momentum so we can attempt this area. And if we can break, remember this white line is an hourly resistance, okay? So it's gonna take lots of volume, it's gonna take a lot of push to break above an hourly resistance on five minute candles, okay? So we're gonna need that nice push. Um, but we can get it guys remember this is a five minute candle so we can't just judge this candle on the first 10 seconds of it okay so you see how we came up we tapped it okay so that's that's normal that's a higher time frame resistance so we tapped it it pushed down a little bit but we need to start filling up we need to start getting increased volume increased volume okay And if we break above it, we're looking for this area, 34,740, guys. Let's hit that. Beautiful, beautiful break right now, okay? So, and then what we're looking for is this candle to push above, and I want to close with volume above this area. That will be really nice. If we can close with some volume up there, then maybe we can get our continuation candle to come, maybe retest this area, and then continue this movement, okay? So, boom, just come into the trade, come into the call, and that's it. We just identify a zone. You get in, you get 10 quality pips, you know? You can place um, takeout. 80% of your profits, leave a runner, that's up to you guys, whatever you guys want to do, but hopefully you guys understood why I took this trade right here, okay? So just like that, 10, 15, 10, 12 pips, could even be more, guys. Very nice, okay? Good way to start the day, guys, you know? Just build a little confidence, get in there, get a trade. We did this last night too. As soon as we got into London, we hit a, a nice trade, and then we hit a few more, so it was good, guys. Just consistency. There you go, Pablo. Fast 40 euros, you pay the rent. There you go. You know what I mean? Why not? And guys, if you're in the trade, if you had a stop loss, you could bring your stop loss now to like a break even. Then you got a risk free trade, no emotions, and just hopefully it continues to make higher highs and higher lows. And, um, but, also reward yourself a little bit up there, okay? It, this is a this is a bigger level, okay? It will be nice if we can close with the volume above that white line. We close above hourly resistance, and then maybe our next candle we can push a little further. But we could also get look at see what's happening. It's getting rejected long wick. Sellers are pushing it down, okay? We got a lot of supply up here. We need to continue with this demand up here, okay? We got a minute thirty left on the candle. Um, and then we can push. Right after this, guys, I will chart gold for us. I'll chart gold for us. Relax. We'll get it. We'll get it, guys. But um, when we get into a trade, we've got to watch a trade because you guys could be in it. <clears throat> we don't have any major news today, guys. So the markets are not going to be crazy, crazy today like how they were yesterday. Um, we're just the, the uh, Wall Street open 930 an hour from now. We're going to get some volatility, but nothing. There's no big red folders today, anything like that. It'll just be a regular Friday, guys. So we'll do gold. Martin, I, I just explained. We'll do gold, guys. We'll do gold right after this. Gold had a, a little bit of a nice bounce where it dropped down to 1745. It recovered. Um, came 1765, you know, it ran 200 pips during uh, Tokyo session, London. So it kind of held, it kind of held down there. 1750 now is like a psychological support for gold. And we'll see going forward today and next week how, how gold holds. <clears throat> Aaron, FOMC next week. That's awesome. Yep. Okay, guys, so look at the candle now. 10 seconds. 
the volume is not closing. It, it is not above my hourly white line yet. So, okay, so they closed it just below it. This is the continuation candle, red. They opened it red, they flashed it red. We picked up some buyers right here. Let's get that momentum to get up here and break above the previous wick. If we can break above the previous high, there we go. Okay, there's the push, guys. Okay, boom. Now we can get to that red line. That's another take profit area, guys, if you can get up here to 740. Okay, 740. Let's hit that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, guys. There we go. This could be 20 pips, guys. We could grab 20 pips plus. If we can break above 740, we're coming up to 750, guys. 750. That's the next red line. RSI is continuing to move. Okay, we're at 61. It's got a lot of room to move up. Lots of room. We're in bullish, bullish territory here. Let's just break above there. This is the five minute resistance. I look left. That's what I do. I look left. I see where previous price action is. And then I just follow it, guys. I just follow it. Okay. We're price action traders, guys. Um, <clears throat> but easily right there, guys, you can secure from right there. Guys, um, you should, your MT4 should be in a blue. It should have been in a blue. It should still be in a blue. 25 pips right there. Okay. Potentially 25 pips. But I want to close with volume. If you want to stay in the trade uh, or if you leave a partial runner, we, we want to keep volume above 34,730, okay? We want to stay above now. We want to make this hourly resistance. We want to make it hourly support, guys. And then we can build off of it and then we can continue to make higher highs and higher lows, okay? So welcome everybody. Thank you guys. 243 viewers. Wow. Thank you guys. I appreciate all of you guys. If you guys can like the channel, guys, if you guys are getting good value out of this, please like it. Um, if you're new here, please subscribe, guys. Um, we're over 20 pips on this trade right away to start the call. Um, so it's looking good, guys. Um, let's just continue pushing. Let's just continue pushing. But reward yourself, guys. Guys, reward yourself also. We're scalping. Okay, this is scalping. We're not swing position trading. I'm not looking to hold this trade for uh, uh, multiple hours or days or things like that. If you, I'm scalping. Okay, I'm coming in the markets, in and out, in and out, in and out. Okay, grabbing 10, 20, 30 pips. You know. So thank you guys for the likes. I appreciate it, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. It means a lot because then it can get us trending. If there's other uh, if there's other people that are looking for uh, free uh, forex education, for live trading, for things like that, then maybe it can go into their playlist, and uh, we can we can find some new people. Yeah, 10, 20 pips a day, you know, there's nothing wrong. We got a strategy. It's called the pip and dip. Get your pips and dip, you know, get 5, 10, 15, 20, pip and dip, you know. Um, there's nothing wrong with that, guys. They all add up, okay. If these do turn into grand slams, like if they do turn into nice higher highs, higher lows, we get increased strength, you know, then, then you know, when you get those 50, 70, 100 pip runners, yeah, they're beautiful. But for the most part, when you're scalping, you're looking for five to 20 pips in around there okay that's it is what it is you know depending the session too some sessions are slower than others you know so you got to also understand what session you're trading things open up now during uh, new york it's different from trading tokyo it's different from trading london every session has its own its own uh, style its own characteristics you know thank you like from brazil respect to brazil uh thank you everybody guys I'll get to gold right after this, guys, okay? If, if, if I go to gold, guys, you guys got to monitor the trade, okay? So it's up to you guys when you guys want to scale out profits. I'm not going to tell you guys anything like that. That's up to you guys. Again, Dave and I are not financial advisors, guys. We're an educational platform, you know? Trade at your own risk. Use proper risk management. Don't over leverage your accounts, guys. Don't use crazy lot sizes, you know? When you get into a trade, you should be comfortable. You know, you should be comfortable. You shouldn't be, if you're sweating and you're, you're going, you know, you're really worried, then you're doing, you're over leveraging your account. When you get into a trade, you should only be risking maybe two, 3% max of a trade, you know, um, where you don't have to worry. If it, it, if it triggers your stop loss, you know, you're, it's not gonna affect your account, okay? So I'll stay with this candle 15 more seconds and then right after this we'll move to gold guys.
<laughs> I see you guys are writing uh, gold sucks. So uh, <laughs> um, that's why, guys, if gold is not moving, stick with an indice. You know, trade these US 30, NASDAQs. These are free commissions, guys. Why not? Look at the movement, guys. Look at it. It's pumping again. Next area, guys. There it goes. This is 30 pip runner, guys. You know, if gold is choppy, stay with these pairs, guys. Forget gold. You know, don't get married to gold, guys. Look at this beautiful breakout, guys. Okay. Next area, right here. 750, guys. We break up there. Where is it going to go? Let's, we go. Oh, there it is. Guys, we got to get it. Boom. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Here it goes. Okay, breakout. Where can it go to? Right up to this area. Wow. If we can get up to, whoa, 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 7, 767, guys. Are you kidding me? Okay. Beautiful, guys. Congrats to everybody that took this trade and you guys are in profits. Guys, you know, take your profits. Enjoy some profits. Leave a small runner if you guys want, but this is beautiful, guys. This should be 35 plus pips. Guys, can I get some likes on the channel for this? Just hopped into the trade and we're up 35, possibly maybe even 40 pips up here, guys. This is a monster, guys. We caught a runner. See, singles, I tell guys, like a baseball game, hit singles all day. 10 pips, 10 pips, 10 pips. But eventually these things will turn into a grand slam and we're walking it up. We're still walking it up. Higher highs, higher lows. Each one of these red lines now, they were, they were previous resistance. They're acting as support. If we can close with volume above this area, then hopefully we can continue and maybe we can put some pressure to get up to here. But guys, be humble, you know, up there. Take some profits, guys. Okay, guys. Excellent. Excellent way to start the day. Um, I'll get to, I'll get charting. Um, uh, I'll do gold in one moment. You know, we'll make some sense of it. We'll make some sense, guys. Okay, see the long rejection wick. Guys, long, long rejection wick up here, okay, at 760. You know, that's why I say, guys, take some profits. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy because one rejection candle, this can turn into a shooting star and come all the way right back down, okay? So don't get greedy in these markets, guys. You get profits. And then we look for another trade, guys. If you guys are new here, um, at the top of the chat, I have pinned the free Telegram group. You guys are welcome to come in there. Uh, we post our trades. We post some content in there. Um, uh, Divanish, please don't spam the chat. I can see. I can read. Just one time, please, or else you're going to be timed out. Enough, you know. I want to read everyone's comments, okay? Um how much am I taking with US 30 for minimum loss with 500 accurate? You know, don't ask those questions, okay? We're not we're not here for those questions. And I can read it once. That's it, okay? Or else you're going to get timed out, bro. I don't want to do that. I can read, guys. I can read one time. If you, if you just ask those, then I can't see anybody else asking any questions. Okay, so guys, that's why. Now it turned into a, a really ugly pin bar candle, okay? So, you know, scale out, guys. I always tell you, I always tell you, okay? Mohammed, why don't I use MetaTrader? I use MetaTrader. Here's the trade, guys, okay? So here's the free Telegram group um, right here. I just took $400, 40 pips. I bought at 34702 and I just took it to 42. I, 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 I exited the entire position up there. I don't get charged commissions. This is my my fusion market broker. I took it for $400, guys, 40 pips. I'm happy with that, you know? I'm not greedy. I was gonna, I, I was gonna scale out at, at 200, at 300, but I saw it kept making higher highs, higher lows. I held it, but guys, I took full profit at the top there. I'm not getting greedy, guys. I see the move, and I exited right up there at the top of the wick, guys, okay? I bought at 702, well, with the spread, um, what was it right here with the spread, um, 702, with the spread, guys, so, but I bought as it was breaking out right here, okay, and then I just took full full position up there, okay, so, guys, I'm not greedy, 
$400 to start the call, that's beautiful, guys, 40 pips. But this thing could be coming down now, guys. I tell you guys all the time. You guys know. I tell you guys. So um, you can get the, the, um, the, the group. The Telegram group is pinned, guys, at the top of the chat. Pay attention. Pinned at the top of the chat, okay? It's, uh, that's the free Telegram group. It's this group right here. You should get in. There's about 1.13 subscribers. And I post trades. Last night in, in London, this was the GBP JPY. We went to a chart, guys. Guys asked me, can we do this? We went to it. And within five minutes, we found a trade for 10 pips, 100 bucks. Uh, we started to call NASDAQ, sell, things like that. But we are full transparent. We do trade with you guys. I'm not using crazy lot sizes, guys. I don't do that. I don't. Um, I used to do that, um, but I don't do that anymore. I'm trying to multitask here. I'm trading live with you guys. I'm trying to answer all your questions. I'm charting. So I don't want to be trading with um, like normal, gold, how I trade gold, 5, 10 lots. Too, too stressful. Um, but I'm comfortable with one, two lots and things like that. Yeah, um, with my broker, guys, it's it, this is not a 10 lot. It's a standard lot, but it's $10 per pip, 10 per pip. So this move... 701 to 742, 40 pips, $400. Simple, simple, okay? Um, <clears throat> it did come down, okay? But then we're picking up some buyers, so it could rotate back up. That's why if you leave a little partial runner, you could leave it with a runner, okay? Um, let's go, guys, to do gold, okay? I know a lot of you guys want to see gold. Let's do gold, okay? So I'm, oh, wow, okay? So gold is moving up, guys. What do you mean it's uh, looking bad, okay? Gold is looking good. I see a nice play right there. Okay, um, if we charted this, we could have been in on this, but I don't want to chase right now. Let's make some sense, guys, because yesterday was a crazy day. Let's go to our daily candles, because yesterday's daily candle was very, very bearish, okay? It broke a ton of structure, okay? So these are our daily candles on gold, guys. Um, almost 300 viewers, guys. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. So number one, guys, when you're looking at daily candles, you could see the consolidation in here, okay? Do you see right in there? These candles, one, two, three, four, these candles, they were accumulating and distributing inside this zone. There was a little bit of a bullish breakout here. It came back down, and this was yesterday's candle, okay? When it broke right here, 1786 on the daily, this thing was just dumping down, okay? Where would it go down to? Look left, okay? You can kind of see where it wants to go down to right here. I go yellow. I go yellow for my daily resistance and support, okay? So 1763, that was an area. It broke, it came down. Where would it come down to? Next area, okay? Okay, here was one area. That's where we are today, this area. 1752, we started. Started bullish day, okay? If it breaks down, if we lose 1750, gold is going to come down to 1740, okay? We came down as low as 17 45 on that wick but now we're building a little bit of momentum okay so if we come up where could we come up to could potentially come up to 1773 on the daily okay i'm getting that from these bottom low wicks right here 1773 on the daily that's our next bullish target on the daily if gold can get up there 1773 okay so i can see what's happening there was consolidation well first of all it started up here 1834 dropped consolidated we have 1807 1808 lower high they they dropped it down bearish now we're picking up a little bit of support on the bottom but uh let's go to the hourly candles okay overall it is bearish on the daily overall bias is bearish these are our hourly candles okay you could see when it broke through here that daily um, accumulation distribution broke a couple retest candles and then just dropped like a rock okay um, so where are we at right now we got to get some hourly levels right now here's an hourly 1767.50 that's our hourly resistance that's our high okay it's the from the swing high now they're pushing it back down we got a little bit of support right here okay 1757 area on the hourly that's my support level okay right around here Oops, wrong color. Sorry. There we go. Okay. So that's basically all I need. If we lose 1751, we're going to come down to 1745. That wick, that was the low of yesterday. That's how low gold went down to. That's now hourly support down there. Okay. So what I could do now is I go to my five minute candles. Let's, let's make some sense of this stuff, guys. Okay. So five-minute candles were coming up, 
Okay, London, it was pushing. London was pushing. We got right up here. We got a higher high, 1765. Okay, and what happened from there? They short, they brought it down. We got it. Now we got some nice uh, higher low support down here. Okay, brought it right back up. It broke. We're at our daily, or sorry, hourly resistance up there, and then they pushed it down. Okay, it lost the five minute previous support right there they dropped it broke below the daily came all the way down back all the way down here so we got support now on the five minutes at 1758 okay that's where we're getting this bullish run right now from okay see these bullish candles they started at 1758 okay now we're pushing up okay we're getting rejected here at the daily why are we getting rejected up there this is a daily resistance this is now a supply zone okay so when i do this this is a supply zone up here okay supply i can write it in the in letters inside there too so you guys can understand this is supply Okay, you understand this is supply up here, okay? So where there's supply, there's sellers, guys. There's sellers where there's supply, okay? So we're getting, we're pushing down, we're getting rejected. It was there anywhere that there was some consolidation that I want to look for, okay? So I can see in here, this area is a lot of consolidation, okay? And it might go forward. So this price might come back down into this box in here and consolidate just like it did in here. So if this is going to go bearish, okay, I want to catch a gold sell if we can break through that accumulation distribution box and then we can come down here with a retest and we could come down to that daily 1751. If gold is going to continue to go bearish, um, I want to catch it down there and exactly where will I know where I am? I'm going to look for profits. I'm going to look for profits right there at 1755. Uh, that would be like TP1 in there, TP2. And I could look for my next profit target at 1753 area right there. Boom, clean chart. That's all I need. Okay. And I can put my target where I want to see the break right there. 1758 guys. Okay. So 1758 for a bearish move down. And as this is going to consolidate, um, then I could start to look for a buy. Um, where I'm looking for a buy right now is above the supply area, okay? Above. If we can get some nice volume and momentum to break up here, then I could potentially start to look for a buy, and then maybe we can take gold up to 1767 plus, okay? And we don't have too much news today, so um, we'll factor that in, guys, okay? Okay, so right now, that's the gold chart, guys. We're going to keep an eye on this area, 1763.50 for a bullish momentum going up, or a possible sell breaking down, coming down with volume, 1758, okay? So right now, could just trade in this zone. And then as price consolidates, I can always move this wherever I want, okay? I move it with the price. Doesn't necessarily have to stay up there. I'll watch it with the price, guys, okay? Um, so Sam, yeah, you're in the Telegram. You got it good. Um, yeah, Jake, gold is beautiful for you. Congratulations. Yeah, it's a, it looks good, guys. Gold is, <clears throat> gold is moving. It was a little choppy right down here, but now we're starting to open up. <clears throat> yeah guys if you're not in a trade on gold i would be patient i would wait guys okay we got 830 open this is now this is the 830 candle so let's see how the 830 candle is going to move um Yes, uh, Pranav, we do have a sniper chat room for the mentor for the mentorship group, and um, all of our snipers are in there chatting, sharing, sharing charts, sharing trade ideas. Um, uh, it, it's an awesome community, guys. I'll go over that at the end of the call if you want to sign up with us. If you want to sign up on the mentorship team, guys, it's one dollar per day. It's twenty nine ninety nine a month. We get you get live Zoom webinars. Um, I'm doing one right after here at noon. We're doing a question and answer period for ninety minutes. Um, we have live Tokyo sessions in the Zoom room that we do Monday to Thursday. Um, 
and there's tutorials. I'll go over all that. Trade ideas, the sniper chat room. It's a lot you get for a dollar a day, guys. Um, prices will be subject to change, guys. So, And you're grandfathered in. If you sign up for $29.99, you got that for the rest of your life, even when prices increase. Okay, So you're good. And it's month to month. There's no obligation, guys. Um, you're welcome to sign. Try it out. If you don't like it, then you're, you can cancel at any time. No worries. Okay, guys, um, <clears throat> so let's, you, I see you guys talking about US 30. Let's go back to the US 30. Okay, so US 30, it's consolidating up here now, okay? So it's forming a flag pattern, okay? It, it, it attempted to move up. That's where I sold up there, came down. Again, it attempted to go up. Now we're getting indecision candles. We're getting lower high, lower high. So we are starting to get some selling pressure. But what could happen in here is, Price could start to consolidate like this, forming like a bull flag. Here's our bullish pole. This is like a flag pattern. All we got to do is start to pick up some volume. Um, we're losing volume. They're indecision candles. They're getting real thin. But this pattern has a higher probability of continuing. This is a continuation pattern. But it's not always 100%, guys. So you, we need to look for a break above 34,750, that psychological number. Break, close with some volume above there, and then maybe we can continue going higher, okay? But if we get a break below here, I could potentially look for uh, a sell now on us 30 okay so i can position my chart like this now for possible sell order okay so if i get it coming down below here 740 area i could potentially look for a reversal pullback sell okay but you're counter trading okay you're counter trading if you're looking for a pullback um because the overall trend is bullish here's could be our extended breakout right here guys okay so it could extend and break out right there Yeah, we help guys. We we're a mentorship group, okay? So we help you guys with everything, okay? You're in the in right now, like Fridays at noon. I'm doing a 90 minute question and answer. You can come there with whatever questions you have. When we do our live zooms, guys, you can unmute yourselves. You guys can talk to us. You can ask questions. If you're in a live trade, we can analyze it for you, tell you, give you our feedback, you know, and things like that, and help advance your learning as your as you as you're trading live, guys, with us. Yep, a lot of us, Sam, are in uh, the team. A lot of members are in FTMO. They're they're doing the FTMO challenge. They're doing the funding talent challenge. They're doing a, a my forex fund challenge. We have a lot of members who have passed all the challenges that are fully funded. We have members that are cashing out uh, monthly from them that are fully funded, guys. So a um, lot of lot of knowledge in the sniper team, guys. Um, and it's a great community. They all we all help each other out, guys. Our Instagram name is Stock Sniper Trading, guys. There's a fake Instagram name. I'll show you. Just go on our website, guys. It's got all of our social links. It's got the free Telegram. It's got in Instagram. It's got Facebook. It's got YouTube. It's all on there, guys. Just visit our website, StockSniperTrading.com. Okay, guys, thank you. 363 viewers, guys. I appreciate you guys. Thank you, guys. Um, if you guys can just like the channel, guys, I really do appreciate that. If you're new here, please subscribe, guys. You don't want to miss out on any live sessions, okay? And guys, my broker now, Fusion Markets, now Saturday, starting this Saturday, they offer 24-7 crypto trading. So we can trade crypto all weekend, Saturday nights. Here's the post I posted um, <clears throat> right here so um 24 7 crypto uh for bitcoin ethereum cardano stellar polka dot bitcoin cash litecoin binance Chainlink, eos dogecoin hopefully they can get a few more cryptos in there but now it's 24 7 trading we'll we'll be doing that in our zoom room guys okay so look now for the potential sell right here okay so it's breaking Okay, let's close with some volume. Okay, one more minute left on this candle, guys. We could potentially maybe look for a pullback, but this is counter trading, guys. If you don't feel uh, comfortable counter trading, then maybe this could just be a pullback. And then what you're looking for is a higher low, and then we can take uh, US 30 back up. Okay, this is a counter trade. You're you're going against the bullish trend, okay? So see now how it came back up? That was just an impulse break. Volume is still in this area. We don't have the volume closed yet. See now how it turned to a spin top candle. Um, so now, see, no no sell order. You don't wanna get faked out, guys, okay? So patience and discipline. That's what it is, that's the name of the game. Just be patient, guys.
uh, KM, yeah, if you join now, guys, you'll get $30, $1 a day for life. Um, when the prices increase, you guys are grandfathered in at that price. We won't change it for you guys. That's what we've been running for two months. Uh, probably October 1st, it's going to change, guys. We'll change the price a little bit because the team is growing fast. We want to dedicate time to them. So before... Um, but I feel a dollar a day, guys. It's less than a coffee a day to get real mentorship. It's fair. If you guys are enjoying YouTube, enjoy YouTube, guys, okay? We'll bless you guys on YouTube. But for other traders that want to take their trading to the next level, we would love, love to have you guys in the mentorship group. Gold, gold is breaking. Let's take a look, guys. Okay, so just keep an eye, guys. I, I got I flip flop charts because um, when you guys are telling me, so I, I I'm only two eyes, guys. But we have almost 400 people, so we got 800 eyes on charts. But I appreciate that. I love how you guys help me out. Okay, so look what happened. So we got gold. We got a little bit of volume close below there. This could now. This is the retest candle on gold right here. I'm just checking spreads and things like that. Okay, and there's the push. That could be the push down, okay? There it goes. There's the push. Look at that, okay? Beautiful push. <clears throat> okay, so gold, we identified right here. that We got to break below 1756 right there. That's our hourly support. If we can break below that, then we could really push down. Next five minute level is right here, guys. I'll go to our five minute level. We're looking right here. Let's get it down to 1756 area right there. Okay, so it will be really nice if this gold can push down and we close with volume below hourly support, okay? If not, we're going to get hourly buyers push it right back up into this zone, okay? Yeah, look, at Aaron's on our team, and read read his comment. Aaron's a sniper with us for a long time. He's been with us, um, been with uh, for a year and a half. He's funded with the 125,000 funded tra um, account, and he's making over a thousand U.S. dollars a day. Um, and that's facts, guys. He posts it in the group, guys, and uh, he's cashing out money, guys. So it's real, guys. Um, and those account, those those. Prop firms, funding talents, FTMOs, all those things. You can trade with their equity, guys. You know, learn how to trade and trade with their equity and you keep 80, 90% of the profits, whatever it is, you know. So there's nothing wrong with that, guys. I don't trade with those. I don't use them. I'm, I use my own capital. But for other people, they're, they're great, guys. Why not? I might even open one up. Who knows? Why not? <laughs> you know, they're not that difficult to pass those challenges, guys. In the first 30 days, you just got to get 8%. Your, your, your next challenge, phase two, is even easier. I think it gives you 60 days to get, what, 4%? Guys, it's not that difficult. Just don't over leverage. Don't go crazy with those lot sizes. Uh, when do I go in for gold? Like, um, you, you could go in anytime on that retest candle. It came all the way down right there, but um, we're still following it, okay? Because it might take multiple candles to break down structure, where it doesn't just always break down on just one candle. So this volume closed, it did come down, but now it's forming into a bullish pin bar candle. So buyers are trying to push it up, but we got to follow it now, okay? As long as it continues to make lower highs, and we can push the volume back down there again, then maybe it will take a couple candles to break down gold down there, okay? So we got you got to follow the price action, guys. It's not always just one candle. It's going to always happen. No. Trading is, every candle represents something, you know? You got to just trade with, with, the, with the momentum, guys, okay? Where would stop loss be? Okay, so good question. If you do get into a sell, let's let's say right here at 1758, where would you place stop loss? So you can either place stop loss like at ideally you want to place it above your previous candle wick up here. But my consolidation zone, the wick is right there. I would place stop loss up here. 
above this accumulation distribution zone. See this candle where it came up, got rejected, came up, got rejected. So this is a supply zone up here. I would put my stop loss in the supply zone up here, you know, and but you want to try and get number one, one to one on your money. Okay, minimum. Okay, you want to look for like one to one quality pips. If you're not getting like a one to one, maybe that that's not an ideal trade. We can look for a better one. You know, some traders, they like to just place their stop loss like right here just below um, like part of this candle and then right there and run it down other traders they like to place it up here it's all personal preference it's all your account size too guys um, how much your lot size is what you're what you're risking okay so it's all different guys but ideally you just want to place it above the accumulation box above or below whether you get into a buy or a sell Uh, Sam, I appreciate that, bro. Sam says he's learning so much since he started watching this channel. It has opened his eyes. God bless you. God bless you too, bro. Um, as long as you guys are learning and earning on every single one of these sessions, you know, I'm happy. Last night, a lot of guys made pips on London. We were, It was an awesome call, guys. So, you know, as long as guys are learning, they're getting educated. Um, so I'm trying to teach you what head fake candles are and things like that. Um, so you're learning a lot, guys. You're learning a lot. So it makes me happy at the end of the day. But if you do want to join the team, guys, Dave and I and Blair and the team are here for you guys. We got you guys, you know. But if you're enjoying YouTube, enjoy YouTube, guys. We're not going anywhere. Vincent, thank you. Okay, the more you watch the stream, the more it's starting to make sense. Uh, thank you, guys. You're not going to learn this in one one session, guys. Price action trading takes months, takes years to learn. Okay, so you're not going to learn this overnight. You know, it's not going to be magic. But you got to practice this. Practice, practice, practice. Back test. Go on. Go on Trading View. Back test your. Um, price action, you know, um, draw these consolidation boxes, look for the breakouts, watch, identify what is a breakout, what is a fake out, things like that. We have a couple webinars that we did all on impulse breakouts, retest candles, things like that, guys. Um, so you see how gold is just, it's staying at this area, okay? So until we get that, 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 we need momentum. We need sellers to come in and push RSI's at 38. Still in bearish territory, but we need that push to come down to 30. We need it. Or otherwise, it's going to rotate up now. It's pushing up. See the bullish? But it could start to attempt to come up to 50 RSI. I use that as a psychological midpoint because RSI oscillates between 0 and 100. I like to know the psychological mid-level. It could come up there and get rejected up there. Then what this could be is it could form a little bit of a pullback. Like we could see gold come up to this area okay it could it could come up to 1759 and get rejected and then come back down but if you have your stop loss placed up here you're still okay you know but you got to allow the price action to do its thing so last night on london like if you fall, if you were with us with london it took a while for us 30 and nasdaq to really break down at those supply zones until we ended the call and that's when it really just broke down and it was a major drop okay Okay, so let's take a look at something else, guys. Well, let's go back to US 30. Yeah, so see US 30 now, okay? So US 30, there it is. See, guys, right here. See how the volume closed below? There was the retest candle, and now it's coming down to there. So that was a quick, quick right there, quick 10 pips, okay? US 30 is coming down. That's that's a, um, um, a pullback, pullback right there, okay? Um, gold, I think gold is moving down, guys. Yes, yes. There's gold, okay? So let's, I want to see it bleed. Break below this hourly support and we'll drop further, guys. Excellent, okay? Guys, it, you sh it, it's moving, guys. It's it's volatile, but see how it's 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 got a wick there, a wick there. We got hourly buyers coming in on gold, okay? So this is going to take a lot of momentum to break this down. I can go to my 15-minute candle right now to check out my 15-minute candle, higher time frame. 15 minute candle, okay? Look at our 15s, okay? Very, very bearish engulfing candle. We engulfed all of those buyers with our previous 15 minute candle. Here's our 15 two. Next one, uh, it's attempting to break the hourly guys, okay? So if we look at our hourly candle, you'll see it's coming down to that support right there. Hourly candle, this is our hour candle breaking. That's what we want. Break there and we're gonna drop. There it goes. Gold is dropping guys. Woo, there it is. There it goes. Beautiful, guys. 15 pips on gold. Seven. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Guys, do you see that? 
Okay, that was a quick break, guys. What have we got left on this? 30 seconds left on this candle, guys. Scale out profits if you guys want. You know, that's a nice, beautiful break right there. Okay, you know, you guys should be an MT4 blue, guys, if you took this sell from 1758 right there, okay? But guys, don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Listen to me, okay? So if you're in profit, scale out a little bit, okay? Because this can rotate right back up. Remember, um, gold is very... Wow, what a nice drop, guys. Beautiful. We're talking 20 pips right now. Woo! <laughs> We're going to need something here, guys. We're going to need some sound here. Excellent, guys. Wow, beauty, 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 beauty. How about that, guys? Okay, guys. When I get quiet, guys, I, I'm, people are texting me. I'm looking at spreads, trades, things like that. But wow, guys. Okay? So um, beautiful. Guys, do you see how the structure broke down there? Structure broke down. You could add your stop loss. Now what you could do is place your stop loss at break even, scale out 80% down there, and leave a runner if you guys want. If not, take full 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 profits, whatever you guys want, guys. Um, just like that. We went to US 30, we grabbed some 40 pips, came to gold, we grabbed 20 plus, just like that, guys. Um, you know? So just patience, discipline, guys. As scalpers, I don't need to trade every single candlestick. I'm selective with what I trade, you know? I look for quality pips, guys. Like I said, in a baseball game, we hit singles, singles, singles. Singles are like, uh, in a baseball game, you load the bases, 10, 15 pips, 10, 15 pips. Eventually, you'll hit the grand slam, like we did with US 30, where it runs 20, 30, 40 pips, you know? But guys, buyers could come in on gold down here, okay? So um, just look at how it's forming. Okay, uh, it's got a wick forming with a hammer candle coming up so scale out guys always but if we're following this now okay following price action remember our white line this was hourly support now it's got to act as resistance so this five minute candle could be bullish and come up but if selling pressure increases we push this down it forms a lower high and then we just exhaust these buyers and then we can push this down this could just be a pullback counter trade you know just cooling off rsi but if we continue to push with bear momentum coming down from the higher time frame like the hourly candle 30 minute candle 15 minute candle then we could push these five minute candles down okay so hopefully that makes sense guys um but just like that guys boom 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 you know why not <laughs> Okay, guys, so if you're new here, wow, 460 viewers, guys. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. If I can get you guys to like, I, I really appreciate that. Guys, here was the gold sell. I took it. 1757.45, I entered. I took it down to 1755.14, 23 pips. Look behind me, Michael Jordan. That's my favorite ball player, number 23. 23 is my favorite number. I'm happy with that. 23 pips, $231 on top of the 400. Not bad day, guys. 631 for me so far. Two for two in the session. There's the commission, guys. This is a real trade with my Fusion Market broker. Um, so there we go, guys. I show, guys, I'm full transparent. I'm not using crazy, crazy lot sizes. I'm not going five, 10 lots. I got nothing to prove guys you know I've done all that grinding I've done those back in the day I don't need to do that I'm more about education guys I really want to teach you guys look at okay so see how it pulled right back up shit if I held a little more I could have picked up a few more pips there guys okay so if you guys are holding I'll, I'll walk this trade down with you guys um, wow wow okay oh shit <laughs> um, I could have held a little longer guys a little longer but it is what it is that's trading guys okay um, I I'm, I'm very humble to get $230, guys, you know, it's, it's, I'm okay, but wow, 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 gold really started to break, guys.
Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll help you guys in the trades if you guys are still in it. But you guys understand what happened there. That was a green candle coming up, you know. And But the overall, guys, we had the break and this is a lower high lower low okay so we're breaking this shit's gonna fall guys okay look at it it's heavy guys it's coming down to here uh i can identify right there 1754 that's where it just came down to if it one more area where it's going to come down to guys i'm just breaking your profit areas right here right there 1753.37 okay so that's why guys ask me why do you have so many red lines on your chart your chart looks messy i know exactly where price can go down to where i can take profits okay that's why so now it's like a grid guys so this was previous support now it should act as resistance we got a green candle we're always going to get green candles rsi is at 30 you're always going to have those 30 rsi buyers but this could be like yesterday on gold where it kept dropping and dropping and dropping guys oh man i i exited this trade too early guys <laughs> oh, oh shit guys but no oh man from there 1758 guys we're at 38 pips right now okay so i i i missed out on an extra 15 pips there but it would have been maybe $380, $400 trade, another one. But it's okay. I can look for another trade, guys. Um. <clears throat> but yeah, guys, don't be chasing, okay? So if you want to chase, like get into a sell down here, it might just drop a few more pips, okay? But the play, you guys can see, started up here at 1758, okay? The play was up there. So if you want to chase, you know, this is where you get caught. That's called FOMO, fear of missing out. We don't trade like that, guys. We trade um, looking for quality. I don't chase, guys. You guys probably know, notice that on on, tr on trading with, with, uh, with when we do these lives. I don't chase, guys, okay? Guys, here's a few of our webinars, okay? So this is... Um, on our website guys uh, we just uploaded webinar 13 14 15 and 16 so we just uploaded all these webinars introduction to stochastic oscillator um, this is a, a one where we did we were polishing up skills on supply demand areas support resistance um, with price action can be used on all time frames we did a, a, a MACD bullish and bearish uh, divergence we're using MACD um, uh, all kinds of guys we got a lot of stuff guys i'm doing a webinar right after this at noon um right after we wrap up this call I'll take a little break guys i did london sleep for two hours come back for new york uh one hour break i do webinars guys dave doesn't stop we don't stop guys um so we, we grind guys we hustle we want to we want to educate our team guys we want everyone to be successful we want you guys to be successful on youtube too guys uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this guys okay um but let's go back. Let's check out. So US 30. Okay. So US 30 came for a quick drop there too. Remember that was a pullback guys. Okay. So you got to be humble with those pips because the overall move on US 30 is bullish. So now if you don't take your pips, you could get a bullish engulfing candle come right back up. That created a higher low. But 34, 740, we were on gold. I never got into this, but right there where we targeted that drop, there's another 20, almost 30 pips guys. 30 pip pullback. One, two red candles. Get into the cell, stop loss up here, run it down, and take your profits down there, guys, okay? So this is easily 100 pips on this call, guys. We haven't even been trading for not even one hour right now. Guys, my phone is blowing up. People are messaging me. <laughs> so sorry, guys. I, I got to, you know, I'm a mobile trader, guys. Uh, full transparency. I trade on my phone, guys. I absolutely hate desktop trading. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Some people do it. Um, me, personally, I, I hate it. I trade on my phone. I trade on my phone everywhere, you know? <laughs> I could go to school to pick up my kids. I'm trading. I'm trading. I'm going to the grocery store. I'm trading. I'm scalping one-minute candles on my phone, whatever it is. How long does New York go for? Well, 6 to New York session is 6 to like 9 a.m. And then 9.30 a.m. is the New York Stock Exchange equities market. Um, so that's the stock, the Wall Street open. Um, and there's volatility there. We're going to get that in 30 minutes. Okay. Yeah, guys, we do take losses. We're, guys, no one, yeah, we, everyone takes losses. But what we do is we, we limit our losses. We, we, we trade with a nice tight stop loss where, um, like, if I've, if on this call, what do I got? I got um, 
23 and 40 pips. So I got 63 pips. So if I take another trade, guys, and I get stopped out at 10 pips, I'm still net profit 53 pips, $530. So, you know, just trade smart. But I'm not going to go reckless with a trade and go a higher lot size and uh, don't use a stop loss. And then I wash away all my gains. That's, but we do. Everyone takes losses, guys. There's no trader that doesn't take losses. You know, if, um, if I take a loss, guys, I'll, I'll post it in there. But so far, I've been the. It's been awesome. The last few days has been pretty consistent, guys. I don't take too many trades, um, but when I do, I look for good ones. And fortunately, they've been running in my direction. So you know. But if I do take a loss, I'll post it, guys. I tell you guys when I'm in a trade. Okay, so is gold pumping? I see you guys talking gold. Oh, wow. <laughs> Don't show me those guys. So look at we got daily support down here. We might drop back down to 1751, guys. Okay, RSI, who cares about RSI? It's down to 26. This thing could be like yesterday where it kept, it kept falling. Look at yesterday on the drop. It came down to 10 down here. 10, look at it. And then it kept dropping dropping guys this this killed a lot of people up here buying and then they kept hammering it down guys so rsi i just use this indicator for strength for momentum and i look for divergence that's basically all i use it for but i'm not a trader that just buys because it hits 30 or a sell because it hits 70 you don't want to do that okay that's the terrible okay but this thing is just walking down guys if you draw a trend line it's just making lower lows and lower highs lower lows and lower highs guys oh man Beautiful, beautiful. Gold was very nice here. Uh, Toothy Gus, thank you. You learned a lot from our streams. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> Alex, you're at work sneaking in trades. Good man, good man. Get those pips while you're at work. Go in the shitter at work and get on your mobile phone and hit some trades. <laughs> Go in the washroom, guy. As long as you got some reception in the washroom, sit on the shitter and get your pips at work. Yeah, man. <laughs> For any of you guys, if you guys are at work, at school, wherever you guys are at, get in the shitter, get on your mobile phone, and let's make some pips. <laughs> Potty pips, there you go. <laughs> guys, doesn't matter. Just get your pips, guys, wherever you got to go, you know? <laughs> guys, this is the new hustle, guys. This is the new hustle, okay? Why don't you want to learn this? In the comfort of your own home, we're trading together as a community, and we're making money. Why not, guys? You know, it's not my money. It's not your money. We're taking from the banks. The banks have been greedy enough. They've taken enough of our money. Why don't we, well, let's take some of, uh, let's get some of the money back. But look at gold, guys. Excellent drop, guys. This was a, a very beautiful structure breakdown. Look at if you, if you shorted the top, guys, okay? That's why I identify these supply zones up here. Do you understand why I, I have supply zones? It all started up here. There was that push right here at 815, 820, 830. Came to the supply. They hammered it down, guys. We could have shorted it up here. Like, look, at I was I was still waiting. I have my chart set up for a buy up here. So I'm getting rid of this. I'm not looking for no buy. So that's done. And I could start to move. Now we're down here. This thing is continuing to drop. Unbelievable. But look at this drop from all the way up here, guys. Okay. 1763. All the way down to here. This is like 110, 120 pip drop from the top. Wow, guys. Gold. Holy shit. It's going to come down to the next daily support, guys. 1751. 1750 is a critical psychological level on all time frames. That's a serious level, guys. Okay, if we want to look for like a scalp pullback, we can look for what? But you're fighting all of this selling pressure. Okay, so this could go up for a few pips and then they drop it again. They could pull it up, cool off the RSI, and they drop it again, just like they did yesterday. So if you guys want to counter trade, you got to be careful, guys. Okay, so if you get in, uh, now it's forming in a hammer candle. Okay, it could be pushing up. Um, uh, if we get into a buy there, you just got to understand if you're getting a few pips, you got to be humble with those because you're fighting a heavy, heavy downtrend. Okay, this could just be a pullback candle unless it comes back up into this area, then it could possibly uh, develop into a reversal. But down here, these are just small pullbacks. Okay. But if you do want to take it, you're welcome to take it. What I would do is I would place my stop loss below the daily, uh, the, the daily support down there. 
and I would work this candle up. But if it does come down, I don't want to be part of a daily break and then this thing drops 30, 50 pips down, okay? You kind of want to limit your, your, your loss there, okay? But if you feel comfortable thinking that this is going to reverse, you know, it will quite possibly will. Um, it's forming a little indecision. Uh, we just got to thin out this red volume um, and just have a little consolidation here and maybe it can reverse a little bit. Okay, guys, I'm just, uh, I'll, I'll read some of the chat in there, guys. Um, how much will gold continue to drop? We I, I follow price action, guys. I don't give, like, uh, it's going to drop here or there. I, we don't know. Nobody knows. But we just follow price action. We do our technicals on higher time frame. I, I told you guys at the start of the call, if we broke that daily level, like 70, we could quite possibly drop down to 1742. That's the next next daily area, 1742, you know? Nobody knows, guys. Nobody knows. We, nobody knows where it could move. Only the market makers know where it's going to move, okay? We don't know, but we trade it accordingly, okay? So there we go. We got a nice little push on gold right there, okay? Nice bullish candle, okay? So remember, these red lines were previous... Um, support lines so if we can break now the resistance lines if we can break with volume above our next target is right here 1755 okay and remember your counter trading guys okay so they could easily come in and push this down and then it makes a lower high so th there's a nice push okay so with these type of candles if you're scalping them in and out in and out you know okay it's trying to get up to my next resistance right there there can we push and break above it you know, and if it takes multiple attempts to break up there, um, but if it starts getting rejected, you know, if you're in there, maybe scale out a little bit, okay? Because sellers could come in and push it down like they're doing, okay? But what we need, candles to close above this area. I need it to close above 1754 with volume so that we can get some more gold buyers to continue to push this up, okay? There it goes. Break there. Break. If it can, There it goes, okay? Nice little push right there, okay? Okay, guys? And then if you have, like, your stop loss down here, maybe start to bring your stop loss up a little bit and secure some profits. Get into risk-free trades, guys. Risk-free trades. Secure profits. Remember, hit singles, singles, singles. Eventually, you hit a grand slam, but limit your risk down here. Start to bring your stop loss up and then take some profits. Excellent, guys. Guys, this is a great call. Wow, almost 500 viewers. Guys, let's try and get it to 500 viewers, guys. Can you just please like if you haven't liked the channel yet? Um, and let's try and get it to four, 500 viewers, guys. I don't think we've ever had 500 viewers on our live. That will be awesome. That will make my weekend, guys. If we can get 500 viewers, guys, it will make my weekend. You know, thank you. Five more, guys, 495. Let's get it to, please, guys, if you can like. Guys, I'm having a lot of fun on this call. Hopefully, you guys are too. Okay, guys, so I took that reversal buy. I took it and uh, I scaled out. Guys, here it is. <laughs> I, it's been a great call, guys. So I took that right there. So I took the gold buy, 1753.68. I took it up to 1755, 14 pips. I'm okay with that. That's my 10, 15, 10, 15, 20, whatever it is. Singles, singles, singles. They add up, guys. There's my commission, another 140 bucks banked. So what do I got? 400, 630 seven almost eight hundred dollars guys you know if you can make five hundred thousand dollars a day life is good you know you can't get more greedy than that 
So, but guys, this could continue moving. Wow, you know, um, I got to start to leave some partials, guys. Um, ooh, look at, look at, look at Sniper Blair. Okay, guys, this is the man right here. Look at, he grabbed some reversals. Seventeen fifty-three, two lots, five hundred, and another one eighty. Seven hundred dollars for Sniper Blair. So there, <laughs> the team is moving, guys. The team is making money, guys. The team is eating. So. Hopefully everyone is enjoying this call, guys. Um, lots of pips, guys. Lots of pips, okay? Guys, thank you, guys, um, for getting it to 500 viewers. I appreciate that, guys. 20 minutes, guys. It's going to be uh, New York Stock Exchange open, Wall Street. We're going to get some uh, fireworks, guys. I'm going to go just till after 10 today. Uh, it's Friday. I just got to make some breakfast, and then I'm doing a live webinar, question and answer period. Guys, you're welcome to join us. If you join the um, team today, you can come in in the webinar. You can ask some questions, guys. You can start your weekend off with us. You can review some tutorials, some webinars. Um, and um, guys, a dollar a day, guys, a dollar a day. If you're on these calls with us, like a dollar a pip, you know, just on that play right there, you've paid your membership. You know what I mean, guys? We, we try and get you guys pips, you know, um, to help you guys, okay? But we are not licensed financial advisors. I can't say buy here, sell here, but I can give trade ideas, guys. But we're, yeah, um, so like Mike, Michael, how you say, we, we you love price action. We are price action traders, okay? So remember why I took profits up there, okay? Because I don't get greedy. I took my profits because I respect this overall downtrend on gold, okay? This is what you have to respect. Yeah, this was a beautiful green candle. It got 10, 15, 20 pips, but it's not gonna go up forever because we gotta respect the overall downtrend, the selling pressure. See now how it's a bearish engulfing candle, come right back down. This candle could engulf this entire green candle and then we break right here and then we're coming down. See, if I never took some profits there, it could have I could have washed away all my profits, guys. That's why I tell you guys, do not get greedy in these markets, guys. These markets will humble you real fast, guys. You know, these markets will make your head spin if you're if you know. These markets are ruthless, guys. Okay, look at that. Just like that. Boom, it came up. What it did was it cooled off the RSI. It brought the RSI back up to 37. And look at what they're doing. They're hammering it down again, okay? So, it, like I said, either trade with the trend. Your trend is your friend. If you don't feel comfortable counter trading, wait for the pullback. Look that it's creating a lower high, lower high, and then you get a bearish engulfing candle. And you could trade with the trend, guys. But like I said, if you're counter trading, 5, 10, 15 pips, it's a gift from the gods, you know, take it, take it and get out, you know, I got in and right there, where did I get in at, 1753.70, took it to 55, so I got in, 1753.70, right in here, as it was going up, as soon as it broke that wick, I got in and I took it to 1755, right, right there, okay, and then I got, I got out, I didn't get the max, but I'm okay with that, no big deal. I'd rather grab some money than nothing and then just have a bearish candle come down. Then that, that kind of kills your psychology, guys. You go into a nice trade, you're up 10, 15, 20 pips, uh, you're in profits, and then one candle washes you out. You know, like that, just mentally, you know, that, that, that then you're going to come back, maybe you're going to revenge trade on your next trade, and then the cycle continues. You don't want to get in that type of um, psychology trading like that. You want everything to be good. Like I say, baseball game, hit singles, singles, singles. They add up, guys. They'll compound your account. Look at I, these these trades add up. 140 here, uh, 230, 400. London session, another 100, another 80. Um, uh, 175, I took on, uh, what was that? Tokyo, US 30 reversal. Uh, 114, 114, Tokyo sessions. Uh, this was yesterday, 850, 137, guys. These add up, guys, you know. I don't need to look for a ten, twenty thousand dollar trade. Those were that was done back in the day. I don't do that shit anymore. I want to educate guys. I'm more about educating, but I want to trade with you guys. Cause some people come on here and say, "Oh, you're not trading. You're just talking. You're just charting." I'm trading, guys. Here, here's my phone, guys. I'm trading. I'm trading. It's in my hand, you know. And I got. I'm trying to answer messages in the chat and everything like that. Multitasking, getting you guys charts, all that shit, guys. But. It's good. Guys, what do you want to see? Do you guys want to see, do you want me to chart a, a currency pair? What do you guys want to see? GBP USD, Euro USD, GJ, what do you guys want me to do? Because <clears throat> we've done, we've done gold, we've done uh, US 30. Should we do NASDAQ? What do you guys want? Or um, a currency pair? 
I'm not going to do AUD, USD. I want to stick to the majors, guys. We do more of those during like Tokyo sessions. Um, let's stick to the majors here. Okay, I'm start I see a lot of GJs, guys. I see a lot of GJs. Okay, let's go with GJ, guys. Uh, we're not going to fight it, guys, because we got 15 minutes um, to go into. Um, Okay, guys, and look at also uh, US 30. US 30 is pumping, guys, okay? So the pullbacks are getting eaten. Pullbacks are getting eaten, and they're coming up, okay? So um, watch for a big break on US 30 above here, okay? So if we can break 34,760, this might be during 930 open. But um, US 30 is moving bullish too, okay? So let's do GJ, guys. Real quick, we got we got this one last night. We grabbed some pips. This was last night, okay? So here it is. I, I still haven't removed it. So this was last night, guys. Um, here it was, 4.15. We saw it. One guy asked me, can we do GJ? We came to it. I saw this formation. We set it up. Uh, we took a buy right here, and we rode it all the way up to there. So it was a nice move last night. But if you don't take your profits, look, it comes right back to where it started, okay? So let's start with a clean chart, guys. Okay, so this is what's happening right now on the five minutes, but we'll do quick, quick um, top-down analysis. Go to the daily, guys. Okay, I don't spend all day. I, two minutes, guys, two minutes. You don't got to spend uh, two hours doing top-down analysis, guys. Okay, we're scalping. We just need to see, the, I just got to see the high of the candle. Okay, I just want to know the daily high. How high did the, I want to know the range of the candle, what I'm scalping inside. Okay, remember, we're scalping inside. Okay, so up and down, um, if we break, okay, if we break 151.23, it's going to come down to here, 150.88 on the daily, okay? So I can start to see where I could start getting some pips scalping. If we break up, guys, if we break 151.93 up there, where can we come up to? We're going to come up to 152.28 area, okay? And that's all I need, guys. We don't got to get, get carried away with too many lines up here, just some key levels. And right inside here, I want to know right here we're having a lot of, a lot of resistance and support right there. Uh, those two previous candles right there. That's that's good. I'm good now. Okay. And what has it been doing on the daily? It retraced a little bit. We got some uh, uh, indecision candles here, spin tops, pulling it right back up. We got a bullish daily candle right now on GJ. Okay. So the pound is strong. The yen is weak. Uh, let's go to hourly. Real quick, real quick, guys. So hourly candles. Do we see any structure that we need to see? Hourly, uh, uptrend, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, okay? But now it's starting to get rejected at our daily resistance up there. It's coming down as a shooting star candle. It's still only 16 minutes in on our hourly candle, but it's coming down as a shooting star. Where could it come down to? Support level right here. Hourly support, okay? I go white, guys. I go white for hourly. Yellow is for daily support and resistance. White is hourly. Then if it breaks, it's going to come down to here. If it breaks one more time, it's going to come down to here on my hour, okay? Right there. Identify that. That's good enough, guys. I don't need to start charting down here because price is nowhere near down there, okay? But also maybe one more area. If we break the up here, it's going to come down to right here. 152.909, right there. Okay, beautiful. We got our, our chart set. Okay, so now we can jump to the five minute candles and uh, start to maybe I anticipate a trade, guys. Okay. Okay, so what's going on on the five minutes? Okay, Over, overall uptrend, five minutes, higher high, higher low, higher high. Okay, let's identify that high because remember when we look left, guys, that's previous price action. Then it came down. Look it. We got held at the hourly resistance. Then we broke above it. Again, this was our five-minute resistance from over here. Pushed down. Our hourly resistance turns into support. They held it and pushed it up. Getting rejected at the daily zone now, okay? So this thing could be forming a head and shoulder, okay? You have your, your left shoulder. This could be the head. We could finish off a right shoulder. This could be going down bearish, guys. So if it goes down bearish, I want to know, where could this come down to? Well, here's five-minute support right there. Here's one more level, okay? And um, I just want to get inside here to watch what can happen here, okay? And um, what I could do is I could set up my chart for GJ with a possible sell. Uh, sorry, wrong one. Uh, sell down in here. 
Remember, I like to, not just an impulse candle. I want to see uh, volume get down there, okay? I want to see volume close down there. Um, okay, so let's, uh, 151.73 area, right in there, okay? And if it pushes back up, okay, we'll see, 9.30, maybe it, it pumps the, the pounds, okay? Depending what, like, U.S. dollar does and everything, what could happen? If this rotates right back up, then I could potentially look for a buy up in this area, okay? And guys, then I, I just sit back patiently, I watch the price action, and uh, I trade accordingly. If I have to move these areas, I, I, have, I move them, you know, I follow the price action. So it could potentially get up to there, but before it gets up there, if we break above this yellow line, where could it go to? Look left, there it is. See that, that, that little peak right there? There it is. 150, 152, guys, I'm not making that up. There it is, exactly, 152, okay? And there's our price action telling us that. Okay. So this is GJ, guys. All set up, ready to go, ready to rock. And guys, I don't trade GJ too much. I'm more of a GBP USD fan, but uh, I'll trade anything, guys. As long as it can be charted, I don't give a shit what you guys put on here. We can chart it. If there's candles, we can chart it, okay? And then inside here, guys, I don't trade inside there. So what what I do is I, I highlight this area all up in here, just like this. Okay, apologize, guys. Uh, I'm not a professional charter here, um, but hopefully you guys understand what I'm doing, okay? So inside here, this is the accumulation distribution. Yes, this was a breakout, could have been a false breakout. Came up, it tapped the daily resistance, and then they pushed it down. So it could cool down down here, maybe pick up some more buying liquidity, it could rotate right back up and try and break up here again and attempt, reattempt that daily high. If not, selling pressure will push down. Maybe we close down here and then it goes down, guys. So um, that's GJ for you guys. Um, so uh, you guys are welcome to use this as a trade idea, guys, okay? Just keep an eye on these key levels, 151.73 and 151.84, okay? And guys, that's it. That's the chart, guys, you know? And then I also use RSI on my chart. I like to look right there, that psychological midpoint, 50, put 50, okay? And then I watch right now. Look at, I can't even see my yellow line. It's right on the white line. We're right at 50. So it's a neutral. The buyers aren't in control. The sellers aren't in control. Nobody. It's a neutral territory. So this is, this GJ is up for anybody. Anyone can take this, you know? So see how it's a small doji candle. Look at the candle, okay? That's a doji candle. There's absolutely very thin, you know, not too much volume. So now it's starting to break. Now I see my yellow line breaking below 50, okay? So we could push down. And um, what I'm looking for, guys, is not just an impulse candle. I want to see it break down, close with volume down there, maybe retest up here. This will act as resistance. Maybe we get a bearish engulfing candle, maybe a rejection wick, a shooting star, and then we push down here. Maybe it pulls back, and then we're looking like this. Similar like what gold just did, okay? That's what we're looking for. And then for the upside, we're looking for the opposite, okay? We're looking for a candle to get bullish, uh, maybe retest here, here, come up. I don't just want an impulse candle. Um, I want to see a candle close with volume up there. We, we attempt up here again. We need some nice momentum to break a daily high and then we could go up like this. Okay. So that's GJ chart guys. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to move back to the gold and US 30 guys. Okay, so see guys, that, that was that scalp I just took right there. I got in, got out my profits, bearish engulfing candle. Again, they're hammering it down, okay? So they're testing gold, daily support down here. This is a critical area, guys, critical. You guys don't understand how big this area is on gold, okay? If we break below here, this is where it's going to come down to, okay? Wow, holy shit, guys. This is a serious drop down here. 1748.49 and then down there, wow. Okay, guys, so this is critical, okay? This is a heavy area, guys. 1750 psychological daily support, everything down here, even weekly support. If we go to our weekly candles on gold, let's do some real top-down analysis. Our weekly candles, okay? This is a weekly candle. Guys, this is going to be the close of our weekly candle today, seven more hours. Look at this. This is our weekly candle all week on gold. It's coming down. Guys, if we break, look at here, 1750 right here. Our weekly candle can drop down to 1745. That's where we were yesterday. And then it could revisit down here, 1740. And then 
1730 on gold guys like maybe next week if this continues bearish guys so this is look at this is this is a heavy weekly candle coming down guys okay a lot a lot of selling pressure from up top daily candles look at the daily okay yesterday's break and we could be continuing now to break that that oh shit guys so if gold breaks 1750 we could be dropping okay but 930 you know we're gonna get some volatility we'll see okay guys we scalp yes I scalp one minute five minute candles I'll scalp 30 second candles I don't give a shit but I always do my weekly my daily four hour 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 15 minute and I break it down precise to the five minute you know um, but I don't I don't spend too much on Saturday nights I do my homework I'll come I'll check out USD uh, DXY I'll do my we weekly Sunday nights guys join us on Sunday nights we do Sunday night we forecast getting ready for Monday to Friday I do it every Sunday night guys I do I don't scalp Sunday nights but I get my uh, the major charts we do DXY we do US 30 Nasdaq uh, we do GBP USD GBP JPY we do um, all, Bitcoin all of those pairs we do our analysis on a daily we start we were ready for US 30 and Nasdaq to to, to go bearish this week we had it all all charted ready to go so um we made our the team made a lot of pips this week um because we did our homework guys we do our homework do, uh cosman yes we do stream this time every day london uh, new york um 8 a.m eastern approximately 8 a.m eastern daily monday to friday Gold is melting, yeah, guys. You know, it's melting. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, but there is a little bit of bullish divergence, okay? I know it's not much. You can see price is making lower lows, but our, our, uh, our RSI is starting to creep up a little bit. But still, that means nothing. That means nothing. You're fighting a deep downtrend, okay? That means absolutely nothing. So this area is going to tell us a lot. And 1750. I'm going to put one more yellow line at 1750 because exactly that is a psychological level right there okay right there okay if we break below set wow guys look at this as soon as i put that line there wow 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 <laughs> yeah laura by homework i mean do analysis analysis get in here start looking getting ready for the week ahead you know i start to look at um if we're trading gold i'll start to analyze the weekly candles the daily candles see where we could potentially move for the week and then we can scalp accordingly yeah that's what i mean by homework um i don't mean like doing math homework or anything like that or <laughs> but i do help my son with his grade five homework yeah <laughs> i'm doing grade five math right now yes lance i just uh said we stream every day every day new york session approximately 8 a.m eastern and monday to friday but in our Zoom room, guys, join the Sniper team for a dollar a day. We stream Tokyo sessions daily, 9 p.m. Eastern. We also do, will do some bonus crypto trading on weekends now. Um, but yeah, guys, join the team, guys. Yeah, Super Data Wolf. Uh, like, pretty much everyone was pretty bearish on gold guys there is minor pullbacks but this shit is dropping okay you know i sometimes when the train is moving stay away you know don't counter trade if you're in a cell keep collecting your pips guys like oh man if i held the original cell up here guys i i, I hit it right here at 1758 this would have been oh my god a, 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 th a hundred pip move okay this would have been a thousand dollars if i held that trade the first one for i what did i grab for 40 pips 400 uh this one um no where was the gold sorry right here um i got out at 23 pips oh man i'm kicking myself right now but it's okay it's okay <clears throat> wow guys okay this is melting guys okay so i'm not even looking for a buy or anything you know i don't want to chase sell but if you guys are in this congratulations guys just what i would do is just continue bringing a trailing stop here's a supply zone right up here so if gold stays below 1755 you're still safe okay because this was a big big bullish candle that they 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 held it down below so 1755 is safe you know um and now we're gonna fight here this area who's gonna win the battle of 1750 gj broke oh yes not not really okay it's coming down okay so now this is the first impulse candle because remember we're looking for volume okay so this could be the gj push coming down 
Okay, so remember, this is the impulse candle. We like to see uh, volume close below. We got one minute left on the candle, so I'll stay with GJ right now. See how it's it's still, the volume's up there. Now it turned into a spin top, indecision candle. So the sellers, okay, now they just flashed it. See how it's bouncing now? So the last 30 seconds of a five minute candle really, really tell you direction, momentum. So let's follow the close of this candle. My G, my G, GJ spread right now is half a pip, so it's not bad, half a pip. Okay, so 30 seconds to go, guys. I'll, 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 I'll zoom in, guys, so you can see. Okay, so it is making lower highs, lower lows. Okay, this could be the initial push. Let's get some volume to close. Okay, this is impulse. This is push, push. Okay, it's closing. Wow, wow, look at the drop, guys. Okay, it could rotate right back up. And uh, we could look for a retest. If not, if we get a continuation candle coming down, it might just open. If there's no buying pressure, it'll just come down to here. Okay. Wow, see that? See how it just opened and went right down to there? Exactly what I said. Okay. It could open, come right down to there. I just said that. Okay. But now we're getting the bullish candle coming up. So if you're not in that cell, we got to follow this candle. It's coming up. It needs to use this area now for resistance. We need to see a rejection up here. Okay. Okay. We're getting a little bit of rejection. Okay. We got to cool off these buyers here. Okay. We got it might take a little while, okay? But we got to cool them off and then continue to push this down. We got to keep this like a lower high up here, okay? And then if you do get into the trade, you can place stop loss above like the five minute wick up here. Or if you want to place it a little higher, you can. But let's, we got to continue to watch this. We got to hold this area where my cursor is. Okay. So see how, yes, see how we turned. We, we rotated the, all that volume. Now it's an indecision candle. Now we need some selling pressure to really hammer this down. Yeah, last 30 seconds tells the tale. Yeah, that's a good, good, good quote, bro. <laughs> um. Okay, so lots of time left on this candle. Three minutes and 40 seconds, lots of time, okay? So we're trading five-minute candles, so <clears throat> you got to be patient, guys. You got to be patient. Anything can happen, but... Um, so far, we're not getting like a, a nice push down here, okay? Still holding this area, but come on, sellers, push this down so we can come down, break this area, and go down, okay? US 30, is it? What's US 30 doing? <laughs> oh, guys, it's 9.30 open. Oh, my God. Let's go to US 30. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um I didn't even see you guys US 30. I, I, was, I didn't even see it was 9.30 a.m. My, my mistake. Guys, so it broke all the way down to there to daily support, and now they're pumping it up, okay? <laughs> Mario, they got me looking at GJ, bro. <laughs> okay, guys, US 30, market open. Okay, spin top, indecision, guys, indecision, you know. If you don't feel comfortable trading this candle, guys, relax. First five minutes of the market open is very extremely volatile, guys. Okay, it, wow, it wants to push, guys, it wants to push. The dirty 30 wants to push. Okay, it's pushing. If it can engulf this candle, it can engulf everything here and continue to go up. Remember this area I told you guys, up here. Okay, if we break up here, guys, wow, this is going to be huge, guys. Guys, this is, if we can break above all of this area up here, 767, this thing could go up to uh, 34,800, guys. Wow, guys. Wow, wow, wow. 
<laughs> you guys are saying well too yep so that could have been a big liquidity grab right at the open and then they're pushing it up guys but um follow one minute guys if we can close with some nice bullish volume well next candle could but secure profits too guys because this thing could come down whoa 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 nice come on let's go <laughs> It wants to bust up there. Okay, guys, but use proper lot sizes when there's this type of crazy volatility, guys. Okay, 30 seconds to go, guys. This is the first five-minute candle of New York Stock Exchange open, guys. Okay. Okay, but we need the volume to close above this white line, guys. That's that hourly resistance, okay? They're, they're pushing it down. That's not good for the buys, okay? That's not good. <clears throat> okay. So selling pressure, see, a lot of indecision. That entire candle was all indecision. Now they're pushing it down bearish, guys, okay? So that's... Okay, key levels, guys, okay, key levels. Guys, if it breaks the daily support down there, oh, man, US 30 could fall. But it's consolidating in this range, guys, okay? So if I see, like, some consolidation in here, okay, the volume is in here okay so it could could it continue to break out and then go back up and there it could have picked up some liquidity oh man it's all over the place guys very very erratic guys this is welcome to <laughs> wall street guys um lots of erratic behavior guys Guys, 514 viewers. Thank you, guys. That's a record for us. I appreciate that. Holy shit, guys. You guys want volatility? We got volatility. <laughs> Okay, so we got three minutes and 30 seconds left on the candle. See how the volume is just in this area, okay? So anyone can move this, sellers or buyers, guys. Okay, I want to watch how this volume is going to close on this candle. It's been all over the place, okay? But if, oh, there's the nice push, okay? Hopefully it turns into a hammer candle and then we can push, push up. Get this, come on. Break up above here, this white line. <clears throat> okay, so we got to get this RSI back above 50, okay? Back above 50 for bullish momentum, okay? Otherwise, sellers could come in and just push it right back down here. Got to get that. And then we have the white line. That's that's what we got to break, guys. 728 up there, okay? Right there where my cursor is. There. Push. <laughs> I got to talk to it. I got to talk to it to move it, you know? I feel when you talk to the candles, they move, guys. Oh, they're not listening to me up there. <laughs> See? So they rotate it back down. Two minutes, guys. Lots of, like, look at the volatility, guys. It's insane, okay? So that's why use use small lots, guys. Small lots when you're trading these sessions, guys, okay? Because the, the volatility is insane, guys. There's not even any red folder news. This is just a regular Wall Street open, guys. Guys, what do you think? Do you think US 30 is going to break bullish or bearish? What do you guys think? BU, if you can in the chat, explain what uh, quad witching is for, for everybody.
Bearish guys, you guys are okay. I see a bull, bearish, bullish. Okay, so less than one minute, guys. Critical area. Can it break with the volume above here? This area, 729. Okay, come on, push. There we go. Come on. And close with some volume up there. Let's see what can happen. It's it's a bullish pin bar candle, but guys, this is the last 30 seconds. Tell the tale. What what who will have momentum here? <clears throat> hey rod i trade bro <laughs> you maybe just joined the call but i've tr i posted the trades guys um so i don't know maybe you're new here but don't gotta explain all this to you guys all the time okay Okay, so the candle closed right there at that hourly resistance. This five-minute candle opened very bearish, but look, it held support there now. Okay, so it could push. Okay, there it goes. Okay, let's get that push. Guys, we don't got time to focus on trolls right now, okay? We got to focus on this US 30, guys. Okay, there's the nice bullish volume. Come on, break. It's got to break these levels, guys, this red line, okay? 750, critical area, 750. Okay, can it get that momentum to break up there? There we go, guys. That could be the big break above, 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 right up there. So, oh man. Okay. There it goes, guys. Ooh. Excellent, guys. Okay, so that was oh shit, that was a rough one. Okay, but we got we got up to there. We made a high of 785, guys. 785. Okay, look at we made a new high up there, a new higher high. But guys, it's very volatile. So if you're in profits, you know scale out a little bit because that that's it's pretty <laughs> very very strong, guys. Um, I was in that trade, guys. So I'm gonna post it. Where's A Rod? Make sure A Rod is on this call here. So let's just post it for A Rod. I got out at 50 pips, guys, 50 pips. Um, okay, A-Rod, one second, bro. Let me just put it. Get in the free Telegram group if you're not in there. And um, so here it is. Okay, long rejection wick, guys. You know, don't play games with uh, with market open, okay? Get in, get your pips, you know. Um,
Okay, guys, so I got into a buy there. A-Rod, pay attention here, please. Um, so right there, guys, I got $500 out of that, okay? I bought in at 34713 I took it to 763 50 pips. I did $10 a pip. I don't pay commissions with my broker. $503, okay? So A-Rod, 503 on that trade. I took this one, gold buy, 138 14 pips. I took on this call right there, 231 right there. Uh, and uh, right here, 400, guys. So 400, 630, uh, 8, guys. $1,300 on this call, A-Rod, $1,300, okay, on 4-4 one, on four, four trading, okay? So I do trade live, guys. <laughs> you guys know that, but just A-Rod, pay attention, bro, you know? Don't be a troll. Oh, guys, and what was GJ doing? Okay, GJ, guys, dropping. Okay, so GJ dropping. Um, there we go. Okay, okay, GJ dropping, guys. So remember, I told you, maybe keep a stop loss above this area and you're safe. And now you're running this down. Okay, we charted the GJ. There's the break right there. Uh, you should be moving 10 pips right now on GJ. Okay, possibly even more. Okay, so guys, um, yeah, guys, I, I'm I'm done for trading today, guys. More than my daily goal, thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars, good enough for me. Four for four. It's a Friday, guys. Um, I'm not getting greedy, but I'm gonna stay with you guys for another twenty minutes. I'll help you guys uh, um, with everything, guys. But for me, a rod, I'm done trading, bro. Sometimes you just gotta pack it in. You're done, you know. You guys got to know when to call it a day, you know. I, I'm very humble. 13, 1400 US for a trading day, 4 for 4. It's great. Spending time with you guys, I'm a happy guy. Um, so good, good, good call, guys. Oh, and uh, and I was in that GJ cell, guys, but I, I, I got out of it when we flipped over to the US 30 because the US 30 is uh, moves a lot faster than GJ. <laughs> but I, I grabbed uh, th three, four pips on that GJ cell. If I held it, it would have been a little more, but... <laughs> um. Okay, so that little move uh, right there, okay? <laughs> I don't really want to post this, but just to show you that I am trading, I took the GJ sell too. There's the GJ. I got in at 151.70, and then I, I, I got out as soon as uh, Mario said US 30, and then I just closed the trade because I wasn't I wasn't on the charts. But uh, 35 bucks, three and a half pips, okay? So there it is, uh, 151.70. I took that GJ sell too. So if I go to the GJ, one, uh, I took it right there. Uh, 15170 uh, right there okay as it was coming down right there okay so I was in that I could have grabbed a few more pips but I went to the US 30 chart that's a little bit more important than GJ during market open okay yeah <laughs> Mario I just paid for my subscription right there $30 a month paid just on that GJ sell for three pips see guys three pips can pay your monthly membership guys and how much did we get on this call but Guys, US 30, okay, came up there, made a high. Now it's bearish and golfing, guys. So let's let's get back to seriousness. So it could come right back into this this zone. Remember, see how it was trading in here? It could come right back in here. Guys, if if it comes down here, I'm not I'm not trading anymore today, but you could look for a potential move if we break below here coming down there on US 30, okay? If it breaks below that area. You know, depending if they're gonna bring the market down later on today, okay? Uh, 34,695 area, right around there, okay? LeBang, you're happy with 40 bucks a day? We'll get you 40 bucks a day. No, no issues with that. Just use the proper lot size that you're comfortable with getting 40 bucks a day, guys, okay? Don't over leverage. Don't go crazy. Guys, the, the markets are open 24 hours, seven days a week. They're not going anywhere, okay? 
Uh, we can even trade cryptocurrencies now on weekends with uh, with our broker. So we'll be doing that in the Zoom calls Saturday night right after a UFC event. Uh, I love my UFC. I watch that. Then maybe midnight, 1 a.m., we could get on here and start trading uh, Bitcoin, start scalping Bitcoin, guys. Uh, Michael, what type of uh, leverage am I using? Uh, fusion markets give you uh, one. Wow, there's the break, guys. Okay, so that's an impulse break, guys. Okay, that's impulse. Okay, so you you know you want to trade with confirmations. Okay, um, that's an impulse break. Um, but uh, fusion gives you one to one hundred up to one to five hundred, and you you can put whatever leverage you want to use. So they're very good with leverage and everything like that. Uh, Fusion Markets uh, Brokers out of Australia, guys. We'll have a link here. We'll have a link in, um, uh, th this weekend. We'll put it in the, the description and everything like that, okay? So we'll get that set up for you guys. NASDAQ is dropping, probably, because US 30 is dropping. So NASDAQ, NASDAQ is dumping. Guys, we never charted NASDAQ today, but um, we did a few other pairs. Gold, let's take a look at gold. So gold is maintaining, okay? So that level, 1750, it's holding. We could see gold maybe rotate a little bit up today, but it's too choppy, guys. Like, I, I'm gonna, I'm staying away from gold until um, next week. Um, but, and the indices, guys. Okay, so good call today, guys. Um, <laughs> you guys are funny. Yeah, Suave, the course is uh, $30. But Suave, are you the 14-year-old? Is that you? Let me know. Are you the 14-year-old? Suave, answer me. Are you the 14 Yeah, okay, you know what? I'll give you a free month membership, bro. Message Dave and I on Instagram. You get a free month. You're 14 years old. I said yesterday I would have loved to mentor you. Um, you get a free month with us, okay? Um, send us a message on Instagram, okay? Uh, StockSniperTrading.com or not or uh, Stock Sniper Trading on Instagram, okay? Send us a message, bro. I was talking to you yesterday. Um, I, I said I wanted to mentor you, so you get a free one month membership with us, and you can join the Zoom room, bro. <laughs> Lance, you're also 14. Come on, guys. Now we're all 14 year olds here. <laughs> no, I, I I was talking with him yesterday. <laughs> But uh, yeah, bro. Uh, I I wanna I wanna pay it forward to you, bro. Um, I wanna I I'd, like that's amazing, man. Starting at 14 years old, but make sure you're with a demo account, bro, and uh, we can learn some price action. Okay? Holy shit, we got a nine-year-old on here. Come on. <laughs> you guys are too much, man. Um, but Suave, message us, bro. I wanna get you uh, set up for the weekend. You can watch the tutorials. Join in on the webinars, bro. Um, happy to have you on the team, man. That's that's awesome. I started when I was 18. I thought I was young. So 14, you cats are getting real young. Um, but stick with school. Don't screw around with school. Get your education, but learn this hustle on the side. Get get both financial educations. Get both educations. Get your book education at school, and then get your financial education here, at scalping pips. Uh, Lance, yeah, we could possibly trade Bitcoin this week. We'll see. Um, I just need to get it on. The broker says Saturday. If we have it, then maybe we'll go Saturday night, okay? Um, but that's in that's in the private Zoom room, guys. We won't be doing it on YouTube. That's for the private. Maybe one night we'll do a, a YouTube session. Um, we'll do a late night scalp session for Bitcoin, guys, because we also pay it forward to you guys, too, you know? You guys you guys had me over 500 uh, viewers today, so... And, guys, just if you can, like the, like the stream, guys. The more likes, the more we trend, then the more things we'll do. We'll open up a YouTube Saturday night. We'll scalp cryptos with you guys. Look on my chart. I got uh, Ethereum. I got uh, X XRP, I got Bitcoin, I got Dogecoin, I got all of them. Well, we could we could scalp those guys. Okay, A Rod is back. Fourteen. Okay, A Rod, bro. I just want to show you. You know, you made a comment that we're not. I, these are my trades. Okay, so I don't want to call you a troll or anything like that. Let's be professional here. Let's be gentlemen. But I did take that US thirty buy right there, five hundred dollars. I did take this gold sell. 138 this was on today's call i did take the gold sell 231 i did take the us buy when we started the call for 400 okay so and then this was last night so guy i i don't want to call you a troll bro but just respect okay what we're doing um 
don't embarrass yourself out here we are trading live I'm showing it in the free telegram group okay so let's let's leave it like that okay but yeah um, he could be making more than teachers <laughs> yeah you're gonna go to school bro and you're gonna be making more than your teachers that's gonna be funny <laughs> Uh, Alexa, you're 70. What do you get? Um, we had a 96-year-old on the call yesterday. 96-year-old. So, <laughs> guys, okay. So I didn't get in this trade, but look, look. We, you know, just guys, listen to what I'm saying. The volume closed below this area. This was the retest candle coming up. You could have got into this cell, stop loss placed up there, and you're running this candle down. Okay back down to that I didn't get in this but right there guys that's a 40 pip candle okay possibly gonna break our daily support right here at 650 okay where could it go oh my god guys this is a critical break right here on us 30 okay right here if it breaks look left this thing is gonna come down to 640 another 10 pip move and then it's gonna come down to 630 right there guys 10 pip increments okay there it goes Okay, continuation candle, okay, but could get buyers there. I'm not in this trade, but look how it's set up, guys, for 40 plus pips. Holy shit, guys. Oh, man, I should have got in on this. There's the break. Guys, please tell me some of you guys got on, on this sell on US 30. That will, that will make my weekend real good. Just get in there, get your pips, guys, additional pips, guys. That's, that's a 50 plus pip move right there, okay? 60 pips, guys. Fuck, I missed that one. <laughs> what's the telegram name the telegram link is uh it's pinned at the top of the channel guys the telegram the free telegram group is pinned at the top of the channel that's the free telegram group guys if you want to join the mentorship team okay so just give me two minutes here just to this is our website guys don't fall for those scammers there's a few scam groups um impersonating us this is our website stocksnipertrading.com okay um one dollar a day 29.99 a month it's not going to last long you sign up you're grandfathered in at that price okay you get live zoom sessions tokyo sessions you get live fomc um afternoon sessions you get live cryptocurrencies on weekends guys you get in the zoom room you get um live webinars right after this guy's in two uh, noon i'm doing a webinar where we're going to do question and answer period we've done this is going to be our third webinar live webinar this week monday wednesday friday and they're recorded they're uploaded to the website um you guys get tutorials right here these are tutorials breaking down everything what are lots pips leverage spread slippage uh, different type of orders buy limits sell limits how to properly place stop losses on whatever time frame you're trading five minutes hour daily whatever it is um, learning price action guys introduction course one introduction to candlesticks open high low close volume what the wicks represent the bodies and then the full range of all the candles bullish bearish engulfing hammer shooting star pin bars uh hanging man candles all of that inverted hammer what are they the 10 15 minute videos here explaining every single important candle you need to know we go into uptrends downtrends uh accumulation distribution supply and resistance areas uh triangle patterns m and w's head and shoulders uh we break down all the technical indicators rsi macd stochastics we go into bollinger bands fibonacci's strategies these are all the webinars guys uploaded and you can watch them so um a lot guys free blogs okay join in on the free blog this was the blogs guys like um they're they're trades that we took like yesterday this was um where i made 834 us dollars in the new york session i break down my psychology why i took that trade there's the ticket mt4 a rod there's the ticket and uh abcd breaking it down guys there's a lot of good information on these blogs not just trades that we took but um here's one that dave did on uh, explaining explaining what exponential moving averages are here's a sample webinar guys it's like a 60 minute webinar that it was on bollinger bands and fib retracements watch it guys it's a sample of our webinar so you can see what we do um, uh, about impulse candles here's a blog about impulse candles what are they uh, here's a chart breaking them down real easy ABCD you know this is free guys this is just our blog uh, it's at the bottom of our website you can join the newsletter um, down here 
Just put in your email address. And then these are our links, guys. Okay, so here's our free Telegram group. Here's our Facebook. Here's our YouTube channel. And here's our Instagram. Um, we're uh, Suave. For, um, it's, here's our Instagram link on the website. Click on there and send us a message, okay? And make sure it's you, okay? <laughs> I don't want other people saying you, you guys are Suave. Come on, don't be like that. Um, let's respect him. Let's give him a free month membership, okay? Because <laughs> I don't want to expose people faking that they're suave. Come on, guys. Um, don't be like that. Because <laughs> believe it, when we get that, when we give one, one month memberships away, uh, we look at who it is, but then we get guys saying that they're the monthly. So, you know, suave. Um, message me, bro. Um, um, but yeah, guys, so that's, we'd love to have you on the team, guys. It's nice to start with us um, on Friday. Then you can review stuff on the weekend, watch some tutorials, get caught up. Um, and then start fresh Sunday night where we do our, I'll be back Sunday night guys for our weekly forecast on a daily. Um, but guys, this was awesome guys. Um, okay. So I just got to read the chat guys just before, um, Pablo, amazing week. Thank you for joining us all week, bro. I appreciate you. Thank you. Lance, thank you, bro. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Lance says what we're doing is really great. Thank you. As long as you guys appreciate this, you know, it's mutual respect, guys. We, we love doing this. As long as you guys are learning and earning, you know, um, we, we don't mind doing this. We love it. And you guys are helping the growth of the channel. We're almost at 5,000 subscribers, which is amazing, guys. We've only been streaming for like two months, guys, so it's awesome. <laughs> bell thank you for joining us all week uh thank you um okay guys so i'm gonna wrap it up it's 10 guys if you guys are going to continue trading look at us 30 is making a reversal it's going to go up and down up and down just be careful guys volatility 10 a.m um new one hour candle guys just be safe trade smart guys um it was a really really good week for everybody guys um just education wise pip wise everything guys um trade smart don't over leverage your accounts guys um trade with proper risk management always use stop losses guys um this was a wicked wicked guys i'm gonna take a little bit of a break because i got a webinar and at noon with the snipers question and answer period i'd love to have you guys on there if you guys join right now and um um uh, is there a yearly membership? Yes, IP freely message us um, and we can get you set up with a yearly membership if you wanna do that, okay? Um, we'll, we'll, we'll get all those guys. And guys, we also have a one-on-one -on -one mentorship if you guys are interested in that. It's, um, uh, you get a one-on-one -on -one session um, if you really wanna um, have a uh, sit down with like Dave and I on Zoom, uh, we have that on the website too. There's one-on-one -on -one consulting as well. Um, but thank you guys, honestly, thank you guys. Um, I had, I'm had i done with New York. Dave is going to be doing New York for the next two weeks. So I'm going to be doing the Zoom sessions with the snipers for the next two, week, two weeks. Dave is going to be here sitting in for New York sessions. So guys, thank you guys a lot for, um, for all of this. The last two weeks in New York session has been awesome. And also L L uh, London last night. Um, but take it easy, guys. Have everybody a good weekend, you know, with your family, friends. Relax a little bit. It's not always about trading. Take your time with the family and friends. Be safe, everybody. And God bless everybody. And uh, take it easy, guys. Uh, this was a wicked, wicked sessions, guys. Take it easy. Peace out, everybody.